Maybe last question. We got one from Danny. What's up, D-Bone? Is it really that bad to drink water out of plastic? And uh, could I buy like a filter to put on my sink? Do you think that water would be good enough to drink? Yes, it is really bad to drink water out of plastic. Plastic's fucking... You should, just remove, you, should, you should be removing as much plastic as possible from your environment. It's very hard to get rid of phthalates. Really hard to get rid of all these um, endocrine disruptors. I added a, a couple more books. Um, Astro Generation is a great book, and that's available in the Papa Solio's bookshelf or bookstore or like bookshelf in the Amazon store. If you're a member, you go to your homepage and click on the book series. So I would recommend... Uh, I would recommend that book. It's fucking heavy. Also, um, what are you saying? Yeah, plastic. Get yourself a hydro flask or something like this. Glass or stainless steel. And just take off the top and you're drinking it straight from the stainless steel. You can get filters. There's a lot of different filters. Like, it's really hard. You, you want to make sure you're trying to get rid of as many, like, um, as many hormones and like estrogens from your water and things like that. We have a Berkey filter. Like I'm looking into some other things, but I'm sure, you know, water filtration can get more and more expensive, but you want to, you know, it's really hard to measure these things in water. It's really hard to, it's really hard to get rid of some of these issues, but Berkey's pretty good. It's a great start at least. And definitely do not eat out of plastic. Do not drink water out of plastic. Do not microwave plastic. Do not, leave if you're not drinking out of plastic you don't have to worry about leaving plastic water bottles in the sun or anything like that but anytime you leave like uv or heat you know the bpas the bisphenols are le leaching from the plastic uh, it's terrible so get the absolute fuck away from plastic you want to read that book it'll blow your nips off like the shit that's legal in this country the shit that's legal in this country that's banned in other countries like just criminal just criminal enterprises from everything from Pfizer and from the pharmaceuticals straight through. It's just criminal. It's criminal. It, they're just leeching and just sucking the blood literally out of the population. It's, it's, it's much more evil and sinister than you can imagine. It's really bad. We have this thing in this country where, oh, we'll just keep on sucking it down and consuming it until it's proven bad. It's like, well, all these artificial products is like, well, let's, let's not say, hey, Let's prove if they're safe first. No, let's just suck them down until everyone gets cancer and obesity and people are infertile. Let's just suck it down until we're like, oh shit, 30 years down the road. Oh my God, I can't believe we're just drinking lead. So you have to do it yourself. The government doesn't give a fuck about you. They're not going to. They, <laughs> the government, they wouldn't even tell you to get sunlight and take vitamin D. They didn't want you getting better from COVID. They wanted you to just stay in your room and fucking die. They just wanted you to be afraid and stay inside. They didn't give you one fucking thing. They were trying to give you beer and hot dogs and French fries and fucking soda. They were trying to actively, hey, let's test this shit. Let's make 40 or 50 billion fucking dollars off an experimental drug. Let's keep you inside to compound your sickness and scare the fuck out of you. And it's, it's absolutely, it's, I, it's, it's, I can't, I, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. It's so, it's so fucking obvious. Not one fucking thing about t getting, about being healthier. Not one fucking thing. <laughs> but they have my best interest in mind. But I listen to all what they say. Oh, the FDA approves it, so it's got to be good. They don't give a fuck. It's a goddamn mafia.